so we have 60 minus 5. So we can break up one of our tens and then subtract 1, subtract 2, subtract 3, subtract 4, and subtract 5 to give us our answer, 55. Now we already know how to subtract by counting back on a number line like this. But we can use our knowledge of number bonds to 10 to subtract from multiples of 10 without needing to do any counting. So a multiple of 10 is a number where you have only 10s and no units. So here we have 60. We want to subtract 5. Now if I know that 5 add 5 makes a number bond to 10, rather than thinking of having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 10s, instead we can think of having 5 10s, like the 5 red lines of 10 we can see here, and another 10 made up of 5 reds and 5 yellows. So if I'm subtracting 5, I can imagine taking away those yellows so I'll be left with only the blocks in red. I'll have five tens and then five units. So on a number line, I can jump back from 60 to 55 without needing to count back. 60 take away five is 55. So when we're subtracting units from a multiple of 10, the tens digit is always one less. So here 5 is 1 less than 6, and the units digit will be the number bond to 10. So with 5, the number bond to 10 is also 5, so that's why we have 5. Now it's important to understand the units digit isn't 5 because we're taking away 5. It's 5 because if we have 5, we need another 5 to make the number bond to 10. Now this might be a bit confusing, so let's look at another, another example. So here we have 50 take away 7. Now we're taking away 7 from a multiple of 10, so we need to think 7 and which number makes 10? Well we know from our number bonds that 7 and 3 make 10. So we can think of having four red lines of 10 and then a number bond to 10 made out of seven yellows and three reds. So if we take away those seven yellows, we have four tens and three units. So on a number line, we can jump back from 50 to 43. 50 subtract seven gives us 43. Now we have 40 take away 2. 2 and which number makes 10? Well, 8 and 2 make 10. So if we're taking away 2 yellows, I need 8 reds to make my number bond to 10. So on a number line, we're on 40, and we go back 2, then we get to 38. 40 minus 2 equals 38. So it's really important to remember, when we're subtracting units from a multiple of 10, the tens digit will be one less, so here 3 is one less than 4, and the units digit will be the number bond to 10. So with 2, 8 is the number bond to 10, so we have 8 units.